the latest standards is that you should basically treat a patient who arrives with an ICH as acutely uh, as if it was somebody who who who, um, who was a candidate for reperfusion therapy. In my institution, we aim to reverse within the same timelines as we aim to give IVT, which is 20 minutes. I'm not saying that we always succeed, but that's what we're working on. So, so this is a very acute condition. And um, I think intuitively, it is easy to understand then that when you have a bleeding that is expanding and your treatment aim is to stop the expansion, then you should not wait three hours doing it, but you should do it promptly. Apart from that, we, we control blood pressure and we want to control blood pressure. I think most um, most institutions aim to get uh, as low uh, to uh, well to lower it as fast as possible, and to uh, below 140 millimeter mercury uh, systolic blood pressure, but not to lower it more than 90 millimeter blood pressure. My, my uh, 90 millimeter uh, mercury. Um, because if you lower it too too fast, uh, there might be some kidney problems. Apart from that, it's good stroke unit care that is really important to prevent complications because these patients are prone to have venous thromboembolisms. They are prone to have infections, falls, delirium, etc., uh, because these are severe strokes. So, so, so you have to have both an excellent acute care, use whatever you can uh, of treatment, but also be very, very meticulous in your care of these patients uh, in order to, to ensure best possible outcome. In some cases, surgery may be relevant, but that is based on an individual evaluation.